because I'm lucky. Now Kamek is going to the airship. No castle, huh? Interesting. Interessante. And Toad's gonna ask for help on, on that part. Don't care. And then now we go on. I'm going to equip a penguin suit for this level. Let's do it. All right, we got a dark level. And uh, with dark levels, it's a little unfun, but it's also a water level. So I equipped the penguin suit for this, for this uh, very purpose. Here we go. So we have these, um, um, they have a name. I know for sure they have a name. I mean, a lot, I mean, all these names. Do I, do, do I, do I, do I memorize all these names? I don't know. The, the, the point is, is, um, uh, oh, uh, those types of fish are usually called angler fish. In, in Mario, well, who knows if they're still called angler fish. Anglerfish is the name of the Link's Awakening enemy. I mean, we're not playing this one. So you can avoid that whole water section by going up there, dealing with all those spikes. Those enemies are those spikes. And then, um, you can continue, uh, these, uh, jellyfish, which they're literally called jellyfish, will, um, light up the area. And, uh, now this part is where things get a little insane. Alright. Star coin. That is uh, not fair. It's unfair. Ooh, I can change stars. I love it. And light up the whole room too. While um while we're invincible. That's why I like having a star. Fireflower? Okay, I may as well take it since I lost the penguin suit. Alright. Oh! Oh! Get out! Oh, God! Uh, sometimes it's actually bad to kill all those enemies because, um... They, uh, that means you have less light to see the level. But, um... That time, I didn't need to worry about it. Okay. So, uh, now it's not that's over. Unfortunately, I didn't keep my penguin suit, but that's okay, because I'm probably going to want to not want to keep it for the next level anyway. But it would be cool to kind of just swim through the whole level. Alright, now, is this level... One, if, if this is the level I'm thinking of, I hate this next level. I think. I, assuming this is the, right, the one I'm thinking of. Is it? Is it? Is it? Is it? Yes, it is! Oh boy! Fun! Fun, fun, fun. So, um, we gotta ride this elevator throughout the whole level while dealing with bombs. And, wait, what? I didn't know you can grab those those enemies from above you. That's, uh, that's what you, you learned. You, this is what I said in the last video. You, you learn something new every day. <laughs> Even after playing this game, like, 50, 50 times or something like that. Um... Yeah. Right, I'm gonna get rid of you. Lots, uh, I may as well just pick, uh, grab this while I'm waiting for the auto-scroller to scroll through. Now, the reason I don't like this level is because there's one star coin that I hate grabbing. Um... And, uh, it, like, because you have, like, a limited amount of tries and limited time, it makes this upcoming star coin very painful. So hopefully, I can get it on the first try. It would be great. It'd be great if I can get it, get it on the first try. Okay, this is it. Ha! Yes! Alright, so now I can breathe a sigh of relief for the rest of the level. Um, because the next star coin isn't as bad. Alright, so now we got these crows. Ow. 
Ow! That was uncool of you to do that. Whoa. Okay. Whoa. Woo! Oh! Yeah, they like die that where they think you're gonna go. They're 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 snipers. Uh oh. Okay. Wait, wait, wait. Yes! Okay! All the coins. Now I just gotta just dodge all these crows. Okay, okay, okay. Whew! All right. Whoa! All right, we did it. Oh. I'm doing these hard levels uh, really well, which is what we like to see. Oh, man. Stressful stuff, stressful stuff. Alright, and now for 8 6, let's do this. So, the last, like, regular level. And let's see how challenging this is. Alright, so in this level, we gotta go up uh, as fast as we can and as high as we can because. The, uh, if you paid attention in the beginning, the lava, uh, is rising. So, you don't have a lot of time to kind of mess around with the, in, uh, this level. Alright, hold on. Alright, yeah, you want to go up to this side. And then, if, if you really want to mess around here, you can hit the speed switch and get a bunch of coins. But, uh, I'm just going to move on. I don't have time for that. Alright, make your way up here. Alright, cool. Now up to the next section. So I believe this is the halfway mark. Yes, it is. All right. Whoa. What do we got here? What do we got here? Uh, more propeller suits in order to make the uh, climbing easier. Oh my god. Uh, okay, forget about it. One, two, three, four, five. Whoa, that guy almost hit me. Six, seven, and the eighth. The eighth one was in the uh, kind of the main. Oh, I, a, a, a. Okay. All right. All right. Is there a? Uh, yeah, there's a stock one right there. Hold on, let me pa let, wait for this thing to pass me. Okay. Get in there! Oh, I thought I could. All right, but we made it. Not a hard level. Not so bad. But um, it can be easy for you to die if you feel like make like a really reckless mistake. But that didn't happen. Because why would it happen? Alright, and now, the airship. The last airship of the game. Alright, so we've seen an airship in worlds 4, 6, and 8. So let's see how challenging this one is. Fortunately, this one's not a really boring auto scroller. Um, there's a propeller suit in here. Ooh! You can jump on the cannonballs. And actually, um, right here. Or, no, not right here. Um, somewhere. Um, there's a, an infinite one trick that you can do. Uh, coming up. Uh, yeah, right here. Yeah, you can just keep on bouncing on these balls and, uh, get a bunch of lives this way. Okay, well, that's not how you do it, but... Um, I, sh I, sh I, I, I will ensure you that that's uh, how you can get into your lives. Alright, so you can just hang around and uh, wait for the uh, pipe so that we can go inside. Oh man, as you can see, the level like oscillates and you can't really just like stand it down. Alright, so now we get to this part. Actually, I'm hoping I can get another propeller system. I, I imagine there is one coming up. Um, because you actually do need the propeller suit towards the end of the level. So, need to um, try to find one. I believe there's there is one coming up. Yeah. I think th I think that's it. If I uh, let's see. All right. So that means one, two, three, four, five. Can I make that? Okay. Good. Six, seven, eight. Okay. Good. All right. So I need the propeller suit throughout the rest of the level. Uh, okay. Now there is actually a way where you can actually just slide right underneath that, but I'm gonna just... 
not do that. It's a little risky. I don't trust myself sometimes. Alright, here we go. Get out of here! Alright. And then there's another skip that you can do here, but, um... It's, uh, you die if you mess up. I'm not gonna risk it. Alright, so, this is the part where you need the prelacy. So you hit this, reveal that star coin, it's down below, and... Oh, nice! Now you might think you can use that Mega Koopa right there, but man, you gotta be so fast, it's not worth it. So, it's just much easier having the Prelacy. And now we get to this part, the boss fight against Bowser Jr. for the final time. Oh, okay, he, wa he wants the big one, of course. Alright, now here's something you can do. Yes! If you ground pound right away, then you, then you can just get a hit in right right off the bat. Alright, so then we just gotta just... No! Oh no! Boom! Alright. Alright. These fireballs home in on you. <laughs> yes! <laughs> oh my goodness. I I can't believe that. <laughs> I was so close to having a like if if you can do it really well, but uh kind of spaghetti a bit. Oh no! Kamek took Peach away. Okay, so that time there was there wasn't really much Peach could have done about that. She probably wasn't expecting that. But dang! How dare you take my woman! Oh man! Look at that! Now that is a castle! Alright, and so what that? Let's go in with style. Let's do it. Alright, the final level. And um, this has quite a bit of things. Um, for some reason, uh, like, when I like played out of like, I would like, this would be like the level I would like revisit a lot. Um, so, like, as a result, it's, like, one of my favorite levels to do. Um, like, one of my favorite levels to play. Um, there's no, like, real reason as to why I think this is one of my favorite levels. It just, it just happens to be, like, the level that I, like, revisit the most. Like, if there's, like, a level, like, if I wanted to go on my, like, 100% save file, then, like, this is the level I would just, like, play the most. And I don't know why. I guess the design of like, this castle just looks really cool. Alright. Here we go. Also, also, um... Another thing that makes this level, like, special to me is when I first heard that this game existed, because I did not know for a very long time that this game existed, uh... When, um... Because I would play, uh, NSMB a lot. And then, um, all of a sudden, like, I would, I would, I would find on YouTube of uh, someone playing New Super Mario's Wii, and I'm like, that can't be right. A new, new Super Mario Bros. on the Wii? And it was like, uh, a, 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 it, it was a whole different game. The levels were much different, the mechanics were different, and, um, and then I saw this little thing play. This is the first level I- OH MY GOSH! Dude, did y'all see how close I cut that? Um, but yeah, I saw I saw this level and I was like, like, or yeah, I saw this level, and um, the way like people were going through this level, I was like, wow, this is so cool. I got, I actually got to try this game out now, and that's uh, what prompted me to get this game. Um, I don't know if I got this on like the same year that it, that it came out in, but I, I it was definitely I definitely got this game. Like, actually, I must have. Yeah, 2009. It must have. 
Alright, so um, there are two ways you can go about this. If you have fire, then you can uh, just shoot fire at him. Or you can hit the switch. And, uh, BAM, BABY! I had to make it look like a, a real fight. So we beat the game, right? What? Kamek disguised as Peach? In what universe? But wait, what's this? Oh! Oh my gosh! Wow! Another phase? Who would have thought? Wow, I did not uh, expect this to happen. But, uh, yeah. Um, for the first time in a new Super Mario Bros. game, uh, there's, a, there's a whole second phase to the Bowser sequence. And that is to escape. Escape Bowser's wrath here. So, um, yeah, you have to try to get, uh, try to, um, Escape from Giant Bowser and just run away. Woo! Okay, and and uh, when you get to this part right here, it's scary because my God, the platforming gets really scary. Um, and then there's waves of lava, and it's just so unforgiving. If you die, you just gotta do this whole, the whole thing all over again, and it's so brutal. All right. Also, I love this music, but because, like, this part isn't so hard, you just don't listen to this music very much. And there we go! And with that, we beat the game. Bowser realizes he's in lava, and he sinks down the lava, the castle crumbles, we save the princess, and then all of Mushroom Kingdom. We did it. That's it. And now, Peach can celebrate for the rest of her birthday. What a birthday, right? This game does take place on Peach's birthday. I hope y'all didn't forget. Yay! Oh, what a nice way to satisfy the ending.
Thank mm -hmm. you. 